Alright ladies and gents, my name's George and welcome to Jam Punch. It looks like Renny Zellweger's face has recovered <coughs> because Bridget Jones Baby is right around the corner. So today we're giving you the summary of Nobody does. Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason. As always, the synopsis is sourced from Wikipedia. The film begins shortly before Bridget Mother's annual turkey curry buffet. Bridget is ecstatic about her relationship with Mark Darcy, however, Bridget's confidence in her relationship is shattered when she meets Mark's colleague, the beautiful Rebecca Gills. Bridget meets her ex, Daniel Cleaver, at her job for Sit Up Britain, and is offered a position as the smooth guidess. Bridget initially refuses, quoting that Daniel Cleaver is a deceitful, sexist, disgusting specimen of humanity. Bridget is delighted to be asked by Mark to go to the Law Council dinner, assuming he will propose afterwards, but because balding Tories quietly take offence at her ad hominem claim that depriving the poor of wealth as something advocated by balding Tories, the night does not end well. After the Law Council dinner, Mark and Bridget have an argument and she walks away from him. Mark goes to Bridget's apartment, apologises and tells her he loves her for the first time. Later in that night, Mark asks Bridget if she'd like to go on a ski holiday in Vorarlberg, Austria. Once on the slopes, she learns Rebecca recommended the vacation spot to Mark. While on the holiday, Bridget thinks she's pregnant and after an argument concerning the future of children, the test is negative. After they return home, Mark and Bridget have lunch with both of their parents. When the subject of marriage comes up during conversation, Bridget is hurt by Mark's comment that it's not something they're even thinking about yet. Bridget hears a message from Rebecca and discusses the message with one of her alleged friends, who advises Bridget that if Mark says, I refuse to dignify that question with an answer, then you know he's having an affair. Bridget, hearing that answer, breaks up with Mark and goes with Daniel to Thailand to film The Smooth Guide with her friend Shazza. Bridget and Daniel flirt in Thailand. Bridget loses faith in Daniel again when she is in a hotel room and notices that a Thai prostitute has arrived for him. Daniel later says that the gorgeous Thai girl was revealed to be a gorgeous Thai boy. While packing up for their trip back home, Shazza asks Bridget to put Jed's gift in her bag. Bridget is arrested and sent to a Thai prison after airport security dogs recognise that there is a large stash of cocaine inside the gift. In prison, Bridget spends her time sharing relationship stories with inmates and teaching them Madonna's Like a Virgin. Mark arrives to tell Bridget that his superiors have sent him to put her release in motion. Bridget identifies Jed on a picture as the man who gave Shazza the hidden cocaine. Mark walks away after clearly stating that he was just the messenger and stating that her sex life does not interest him. In Britain, Mark confronts Daniel for not helping Bridget when she was arrested and they start a fight outside a museum. Eventually, Daniel swears off Bridget for good and sarcastically suggests that Mark just marry her. When Bridget arrives in Heathrow Airport, she is an international human rights celebrity. She is greeted by her parents, who have been busy planning their vow renewal ceremony. At home, she is surprised by her friends who inform her that Mark was the one who tracked down Jed and forced him into custody in order to free her. In the process, putting into motion the British government, MI5, Interpol, and many other diplomatic bigwigs. Hopeful that he still loves her, she runs to his house. She finds Rebecca there and assumes there is a romantic relationship between Mark and her. Rebecca reveals that she is not seeking an affair with Mark, she is instead infatuated with Bridget, who is flattered but politely turns her down. Bridget confronts Mark at his legal chambers and asks him to take her back. Mark proposes to Bridget and she accepts. The film ends with Bridget's parents renewing their vows and Bridget catching the bouquet. Thanks for watching that ladies and gents, I hope I've managed to cover everything of Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason, ready for Bridget Jones Baby in a few days. Please let me know what you thought of the video below, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all of our new summaries. See you next time!